When you visit a dam, you're more likely to see a spillway. This enjoyable sightseeing adventure is one that comes with a risk. So what happens when you fall into a spillway? You're probably about to hop into your browser and check up what a spillway is. So I will just briefly explain what a spillway is to give you an idea of what will happen when you fall into one of these. A spillway is a structure built to control the flow of water typically found in dams. It ensures that excess water doesn't overwhelm the dam, preventing potential disaster. When a dam is built across water body, it usually divides the river into two sides. The side upstream becomes a reservoir that holds a large mass of water for many economic uses. Meanwhile, the side downstream is a continuous flowing river. To ensure that the reservoir water doesn't fill up and overflow uncontrollably, a passage or a gateway is constructed in the dam to control the release of water. This passage is what we refer to as a spillway. Just so you know, a spillway is located at the top of the reservoir pool. It is designed to release water efficiently, making it subjected to powerful and intense water currents. Although there are different types of spillway design, each of these spillways are dangerous in their own way. Take a look at this spillway. You might think that it is a perfect spot for riding a water slide, but this is a chute spillway and it is nowhere near a place to have fun. A chute spillway is a common and basic design that transfers excess water from behind the dam down a smooth decline into the river. What about this spillway which resembles a watery vortex? that can teleport you to a different dimension. <laughs> Okay, just kidding. It is actually called a bellmouth spillway. A bellmouth spillway is an uncontrolled spillway designed like an inverted bell where water can enter around the entire perimeter. It's also called the morning glory or the glory hole spillway. Now, imagine falling into one of these. What do you think will happen? Already we know when you fall into one of these, first you get wet, but that is not where the problem is. Apparently, you will first be overwhelmed by the rush of water as well as the sheer force of your fall into the spillway. While trying to hold on to the edge of the spillway, you can hear the water clashing all the way down against the concrete floor. Yet, you can't even see the bottom of the spillway. The bottom or the exit point of the spillway is so dark because it is nearly 250 feet from the top. All you can see is water and small debris falling down, never to be seen again. The good news is, you already have the knowledge that the water does exit somewhere. But the bad news is, you are holding on to a slippery surface with thousands of gallons of water rushing down your face and although it exists somewhere but the pressure is something you just can't withstand of course you might consider sliding down the unimaginable depth of the spillway however the fear of the unknown sends shivers down your spine so you likely be shivering because you do not know how deep the bottom of the spillway is from the moment you fall into this hole you are likely to hold on to your breath and as you fall into the depth of over 250 feet you will be gasping for air and eventually you will hit a concrete floor with such force that you either fall unconscious or you open your mouth and scream forcing you to take a deep breath of water that is if you are not dead yet okay let's say you survive this fall even though there is a 0.000001 percent that you survive to this point that is simply because the exit part of the spillway is sloped and the water would act as a cushion that would allow you to suffer a little longer sadly the pipe connected from the entering point of the spillway narrows to 28 feet wide at the exit point even though it its diameter is wide enough that you can fit in, you will be compressed by the pressure of the water that is gushing into this space. Bear in mind that you haven't taken a breath since you fell into this turbulent water. At this exit point, the water continuously moves in a random pattern and will endlessly spin you as though you were in a washing machine until it spits you out. Although the chances of survival up to this very point is very slim, let's say you did survive, then you still have over 30 feet of pipe to flow through completely submerged in compacted water that presses through your entire body including your chest if you don't die of suffocation then the water pressure compressing your body would likely kill you let's say you are one lucky son of a gun you still have to be spit out of the creek sadly you most likely will be thrown out at a speed of 60 miles per hour on rocks yeah you are dead my friend it's not a pretty end i'm afraid apparently this story is a summary of what happened to emily schwalet who was taken by the cold hands of death after being sucked into lake Barres spillway in 1997. No doubt, if you fall into a spillway, you most likely wouldn't live to tell the tale. Remember, this isn't an endorsement to try it out. It's just a fascinating exploration of what could happen if you fall into a spillway. If you enjoyed this adventure, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to share this video with your friends and let us know what you think about what would happen to you if you fall into a spillway in the comment section below. See you in the next video.